year, your high school student may have quite a different experience with standardized testing. For the first time this spring, the SAT will be going completely digital. Our Autumn Klein joins us live from downtown at the College of Charleston, where she spoke with a representative from the admissions office about how those changes may impact those upcoming college students. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, Nick and Shelby. I am told that the biggest change that we will see with this new digital SAT is the impact that it will have on students. The new digital SAT is supposed to be a much easier version of the test that was formerly administered. The digital SAT is almost an hour shorter than the original SAT, totaling only about two hours to take, and students will have more time on each question. I am told students will have more opportunities to use their calculator and that reading passages will be shorter and more engaging. The test will also be adaptable with the questions changing based on the students' answers. Students will be allowed to use their own computer to take the exam, but I am told that computers will be administered to those who do not have their own. According to the SAT website, the testing policies are the same as far as prohibited devices and room monitor monitoring, but the script for the proctors will be much shorter and the students will receive a toolkit which includes a dashboard to monitor their screens. I spoke with the VP of Enrollment Planning for the College of Charleston who said that the SAT going digital will impact students positively and will not impact their admissions for the college. For years, I mean, institutions have known uh, that students are much more than just their test score, uh, and their GPA and the work they do in high school is where we put our emphasis in admissions. I don't think that'll change. Foster says that the College of Charleston is now a test optional school, so the SAT is not even required for admissions here. Therefore, this change will not severely impact their college, but it may impact other schools. I also spoke with a representative from Charleston County School District who tells me that a written option will be available, but only for students who qualify for this accommodation. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from Foster and why he thinks that this change was made. Live in Charleston, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.